It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the New England Patriots and the Chicago Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport, historic Soldier Field in Chicago. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. We are about set for some football, and it's Joey Sly to kick things off. Off we go from Soldier Field. DeAndre Carter on the return, and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent. Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. When we met with these coaches during the week, Mike, they told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early, and we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. On the option, it's Swift. And he's going to be brought down behind the line. This defense fired up to start the game. It'll bring up fourth down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why, as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. There he goes again. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Here's a second and nine. On the ground, here's the Texas Longhorn, Roshan Johnson. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Jelani Tavai, they're on the tackle. Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That is caught down 
field by Odunze. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. A shotgun snap, and they'll give it to Johnson. And they'll bring it inside the red zone. Finding space. Gain of seven. Inside the 20. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Another run here with Johnson. And he'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On first down, right back to Johnson. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. They'll go again with Johnson. He is in. Roshan Johnson. Touchdown, Bears. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. The kick is good. And the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. To return, it's Antonio Gibson. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Patriots have a rookie quarterback. It is Drake May. Long past the Tom Brady era, it is May who is now the guy in Foxborough. Out of North Carolina, Greg, the third pick in this past year's draft there's no question mike this guy in terms of talent is at the top of the list i mean that prototypical size with that live arm he can attack the defense in so many different ways however i think it's really his ability to use his mind is what takes him to another level for a young player to understand the importance of manipulating the defense with his eyes and he's able to identify exactly where that coverage is vulnerable. He's far from a finished product, right? He's a young player learning this league. But I'll tell you what, I am fired up to see his development firsthand today over these next couple hours. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. May to throw on second down. That'll be complete to Gibson. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. They'll come up to third and three. Here's May. 
complete to Ramondre Stevenson out of the backfield. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. They'll run here with Gibson. And a strong first down run, a pickup of Knox, setting up second and short. They'll run, and this is Ramondre Stevenson. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. Throwing now is May. Got his man at the six. And he's in. Hunter Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game. And you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession. And they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath. Maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop. And they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Joey Sly on now for the point after. He's got it. And the Patriots come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. So the drive begins with a give to Johnson. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. On the zone read, here's Johnson. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot, but that'll keep this drive rolling. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, 
but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. On second down, it's Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Got the hook up there to Odunze. They get 19 on that pass play. Good for a Bears first down. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. To the sideline, he's got more. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. They'll come up here on second down and five. A give, and here's Johnson. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. On third down, it's Williams. He'll try and get there on the ground. They'll pick up 23 on that one. First down, Chicago. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. And good red zone running here. Taking it inside the 10-yard line. Pickup of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Working out of the gun. Here's what that's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Jonathan Jones. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Now May. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. To throw is May. Open man, Demario Douglas. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Six. 
second and a yard. The motion man here is Bourne. On play action, here's May. Open man there, it is Bourne. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. This one complete to Bourne. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. Down the right sideline. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. And these are the throws that when they evaluate young quarterbacks coming out of college, they want to see you be able to make. Everyone worries about how far you can throw the ball. And while that's certainly important, to be able to make the throws from sideline to sideline, especially in those intermediate zones, drive the ball through space. Because in this league, an open window is going to close in a hurry. We'll go again from the three. It is second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Antonio Gibson. Touchdown, New England. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Sly now for the point after. His kick is good. And the Pats will move out to a 14-7 lead. Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. Carter on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Here's Williams now to throw. To the left side, he's got Komet. Here's second and two. To throw is Williams. The coverage too strong that time. The ball batted away and incomplete. Rome Odunze, the one he was looking for. And it's going to bring up a third down. What did he tell us in our production meeting this week, Mike? He takes such great pride in his coverage abilities. And after that play, it's pretty clear why. He'll try to run for it with Johnson. He's going to have a Bears first down as he gets this up to the 42. 
Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Off play action. Here's Williams. Off he goes. And he slides and covers up at the end. Avoids the hit. And picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions. And he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there. Picks up some good yardage. And gets down on the ground. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Here's a third down and four. Throwing is Williams. That's caught. It's the tight end, Komet. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. They'll run. Johnson. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. The Patriots out on top. We're back to Soldier Field after this. Look him up on a second down and eight. To throw, it's Williams. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. On the give, it's Johnson. And he'll bring it inside the red zone. Finding space. Gain of seven. Inside the 20. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Here's second and three to go. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Really well done here by the defense, Mike. Executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And he's going to have the Bears first down. Oh, they take a chance there on fourth and one, but it's a gain of three and a new set of downs. Little test of wills up front, huh, Mike? I mean, who wanted this one more? Who would get off the line quicker? Who would drive the other side backwards? Pretty impressive that not only are they the ones that won the battle, the defense knew what was coming and still couldn't stop. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. 
Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big gain. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. On the bootleg, it's Williams. To the goal line and in. Touchdown, Chicago. On is Santos for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Bears will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square, 14 apiece the score, as this one's away. Marcus Jones now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's Gibson. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. May going to look to throw. That one to the veteran Hooper. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Here's third down and a few inches. From out of the gun, here's May. That's caught by Bourne. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Third and inches, you see a lot of teams try to take a shot. Why, Mike? Because they know on fourth and inches, they still have a chance to convert the first down. The shot wasn't there, but they're still able to pick up a nice gain and convert and bring up first down. On first and ten, here's May. He's got his big tight end, Henry. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Second down and eight. May to throw again. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. They need eight as they come up for third down. They'll go play action with May. He finds a man. That's Osborne. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. A run here with Stevenson. And it'll be brought down right around the 40. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play.
Here's second and nine. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. There's Osborne with the grab. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. He'll work his way forward for about three yards. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. They face second down and seven. It's the tight end Henry in motion. Off the play fake, here's May. Here's a shot toward the end zone. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. They'll come up here first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. 13 yards to start that drop. And a quick first down. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. You just saw a great example of it here. He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. A play fake. Now Williams. This pass caught. Right side. It's Allen. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. To the outside, a catch made by Moore. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. On first and ten, it's Williams. A pass taken in by Johnson. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and it results in a negative play. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Williams. Right back to Johnson. He's got it again. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging. 
because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. Well, I can promise you that's not what they had in mind when they called that play. They're thinking either catch the defense in deep, soft coverage, or maybe get lucky and they're blitzing. In this case, they get neither and pick up a minimal gain. On fourth down, it's Cairo Santos on for the Bears' field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears move out in front. The new score, 17 to 14. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. He'll start on the ground with Stevenson. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. A carry now for Gibson. And he'll get forward for a couple. It was Kevin Byard that time to make the play. Third and five. Throwing is May. Sending it deep. Looking for Osborne. Jalen Johnson had the good coverage and is able to knock that one away. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. First and ten. Here's Williams now to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Jennings. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. Throwing on first and ten is May. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. 
made to throw on second down. This one complete to Bourne. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll try to run for this. It's Stevenson. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert on third and one. What a great run down here inside the red zone, Mike. It's so important that you still can run the ball. Great job here by the back. I thought for a minute he was going to score. He gets it all the way down inside the one, and I wouldn't be surprised if they let him finish this drive off. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. Now Gibson. And room to operate as he takes it down to the two. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. And that is incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. Some extra bulk out there. They're going to roll the dice and go for it on fourth and goal. And he's not going to get there. They stopped him at the goal line. It's a turnover on downs. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt. But at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you. And let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll start this on the ground with Johnson. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Now a toss left side for Johnson. And he's able to give him a little breathing room. He's got a first down up past the 15-yard line. Simple play to call, but complex to execute. A toss play is beautiful, Mike, when a team hits it like they just did. We can see why they're a fan in the toss. Healthy gain, and they pick up the first down. So, two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. We'll come back to Soldier Field. Following this. Here's Williams on first and ten. Now he takes off. And Williams hit the deck there, but after he picked up the first down. It's a first down and a gain of 13. The defense is going to have to come up with a plan for this quarterback using his legs, Mike, or it's going to be a long day. They knew coming in he was a threat, but I'm not sure they thought he would be this effective this early. On the out, connecting with Allen. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains, 
by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He's got his man, Carter. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. A quick slant looked in by Moore. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. To throw it again. It's Williams. Catch made there by Allen. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. Cross right side to the tight end, Komet. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. This has been some kind of march downfield. Now, can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. They'll run with Johnson. He slams it in there, and he is in. Roshan Johnson, touchdown Bears. His second touchdown of this first half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Santos for the extra point. He's got it, and the Bears go up by 10. 24 to 14 is their lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. On the return, here comes Gibson. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. Here's first and ten. From out of the gun, here's May. Taking off. And May will not risk it. Into the slide. And he's got the first down.
Back to throw. That'll be intercepted. Picked off by Kyler Gordon. We had a chance to talk to the defensive coordinator the other day, and remember what he told us, Mike? He said, we know how talented this young rookie quarterback is. He can make all the throws. We've seen him do it in college. But it's a different animal now doing this in the NFL. We think we can make him force some bad throws and make some bad decisions. And so far here in the first half, that's exactly what they've done. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run this over the center with Johnson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. On now, it's Cairo Santos for the field goal. This will be from 56 yards away. Oh, he pulled it a bit. And that pass is left to the upright. It's no good. So we hit halftime along the lakefront here in Chicago, and the Bears are on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Jones now on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's May. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. They'll try again here, second and 10. On the give, this is Stevenson. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. On third and two, it's May. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive. But instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. 
This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Williams to throw on second down. That's complete commit with the catch. Pick up of 11 yards on that one. Good for a Bears first down. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. They will run it over center with Swift. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Now Williams. That's to the tight end, Komet. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Swift. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. He's got the hook up there to Odunze. 13 yards on the catch there. First down, Chicago. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On the give, it's Swift. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. Mike, the old adage, you run to set up the pass. This modern offense nowadays, we're starting to see that flipped upside down on its head. Typically, the success of the passing game is what allows teams to have success like this in the run game. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike, and what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and... So far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. It's second down. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. He's got it at the three. And he's in. Touchdown, Chicago. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. On is Santos for the PAT.
He gets it to go. And the Bears will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The number three overall selection, Drake May, headed out for the next Pats possession. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally, the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. Set to go now on first and ten. On the ground, Gibson. And that'll be a pickup of three. Throwing on second down, May. That one taken in by Douglas. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Now a third and two. They'll work the middle this time with Stevenson. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. And next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pickup. On first down, they'll stay with Stevenson on the ground. Gets to the edge at the 30. A terrific run there. He's finally taken down at the 25-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. And I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. They motion the slot man left. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. They'll run here with Gibson. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal as strong running takes them down to the nine. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. And he will score. Ramondre Stevenson. Touchdown, Patriots. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six.
Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. On the return, it's Tyler Scott. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to take over once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. From the 35, it's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Off play action. Here's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And he gets it to midfield, and he gets the first down. Good run. The drive continues. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. A play fake. Now Williams. Working across the field. He's going to find more. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Out of the shotgun, it's a give to Swift. And he'll be taken down. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. On the bootleg, it's Williams. And for a third time today, he's intercepted. And the Patriots will take over at their own 14-yard line. These second-half red zone opportunities are critical, Mike. I mean, you're not going to score every single time you get down here, but it feels like at this point in the game, this might be my last chance to get this deep. You've got to make the most of those limited opportunities. At least come away with three. You're hoping for six, but in this case, you come away with zero. The motion man here is Bourne. Throwing on first and 10 is May. Now he'll run it. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. To throw on first down is May. Airing one out for Bourne. That's hot! And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine 
all day. And you could see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. On first and ten, here's May. Has completed to Douglas. A gain of 17 to the 17-yard line. This has the makings of a really good young tandem in New England. I mean, May, the rookie quarterback, first-round pick. Douglas only in his second year, Mike. So the Patriots' hopes are high that these two can not only grow together, but they can continue to fit in some pieces around them and really try to improve this offense. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. Now Gibson. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Ready for the shotgun. It's May. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Jalen Johnson. Oh, and in that spot, Mike, that's just painful to see. If the throw's not there, you want him to just get rid of it. Throw it 50 rows into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. But worst case scenario, you've got to get to fourth down and have a shot at three points. But instead, after that pick, you come away with zero. Here's a handoff and Swift running right. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. He'll come up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. Here's a third down and four. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That one on target to Moore. And he puts his head down, and he picks up the first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. On first and ten, it's Williams. Now, a deep shot for Allen. And this will be incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And that will lead to a second down. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. 
He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. They'll come up here first and 10. Uh, give up the middle with Swift. And tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Got to get it to the 30. Here comes third down. throwing is Williams taking off he'll try to get there this is the point in the game Mike we're on third down you have to get off the field and they do a great job they defend everything in the pass routes nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball but they don't keep him in the pocket they let him escape picks up the first down with his legs they're going to be able to run more time off the clock Now Swift, and not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On second down, it's Williams. Looking middle and complete with Allen. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Here's a third down and four. Here's Williams. Will go underneath to commit on the screen. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag back in the backfield. Is it a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the eleven. right side to the tight end commit and they'll get about half of what they needed it's a pickup of five and sets up second and five well let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches they knew that blitz was coming they held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion and he'll take it on in Rome Odunze, touchdown Bears. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Get 
Santos for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bears will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Jones now on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Patriots offense starting to trot out for this next possession this secondary will get a lot of the credit three picks so far but Greg the pass rush has been relentless as well yeah I think it's super important Mike that we point out just how much the pass rush and then the secondary coverage works together. The more that rush gets home, the faster that ball gets out. We can play certain coverages knowing the timing of the quarterback has to be sped up. So often, the teams that are the most successful in this league, Mike, they have the best understanding. When our back end and our front end are working in unison, man, it puts a lot of pressure on not only the quarterback, but the entire offense. He's got his big tight end, Henry. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Here's May to throw it on first down. And they'll take this down inside the 35. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. May now on first and ten. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. To throw again is May. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. A carry now for Gibson. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Fourth down, out comes Joey Sly for the Patriots' field goal. This one will be from 37 yards out. Sly's kick is good. And the Pats 
are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Scott now on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Bears' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll go underneath to Swift. Anytime you have a running back like this, it's more about just how many ways can you get the ball in his hand. He's had a great game today so far on the ground. Now they're starting to find ways to get him the ball through the air, and that is a handful for any defense. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. He runs with it. And Williams hit the deck there, but after he picked up the first down. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. They'll run. It's swift. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. First and 10. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. He finds his big tight end, Everett. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Here's Swift. With good blocking leading the way. He's got the first down inside the 25. They'll go again with Swift. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game, like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had to lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Oh, 
To the left side, he's got Komet. They can keep the drive alive if they get to the four, but facing third down at the moment. He's got his big tight end. Cole Komet, touchdown Chicago. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are going to extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Working out of the gun. It's May. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Called in by the tight end, Henry. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. On third and two, it's May. And this ball incomplete on third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he's going to pick up a Patriots first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag. But you still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. May to throw again. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Third and short, and here is May. 
That one taken in by Douglas. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. They'll come up here on second down and five. May to the air once more. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. How about four catches on this drive alone? Time to change the defense. This one gets him another first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? There's that man again. Another catch. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding a the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. Inside the 10, it is caught. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, if you're going to target him in the end zone, you better come correct, man, because this guy, he embraces those moments of one-on-one -on -one coverage when it matters the most, and I think he just saved six by getting his hands on that one. So the ball's still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Here's May again. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. No try and throw. Here's May to the end zone. It's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take over at their own two. When you find yourself in this situation, Mike, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, here's second and three to go. They'll try the right side with Swift. The defense plays it beautifully on that one. They knock them back to the seven. 
Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there, you kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground. The defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. Third and five. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He'll try to run for it. And Williams hit the deck there, but after he picked up the first down. At this point, it just gets frustrating for the defense, right? I mean, you've been watching this guy make big play after big play all game long, not only on the quarterback-designed runs, but it's the scrambles that can really break the back of the defense, and we saw it again here. This is an RPO, and quickly they'll hit Allen. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. A couple of first downs already on this drive, and they'll go first down from the 43. So this one in the win column for the Bears. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from along the lakefront at Soldier Field in Chicago.